With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is a ray of light from a denser medium strikes a ray medium as shown in the figure. The reflected and refracted rays making an angle of 90 degree with each other. The angle of reflection and refraction are R and R dash. Then we have to find here the critical angle. So let's see the solution. Okay. So actually in this question we have given here a diagram in that we can see a ray is uh, striking from a uh, denser medium to rare medium with an angle of incident i, angle of reflection as r and angle of refraction as r dash while the reflected and refracted ray making an angle of 90 degree. Okay, this is also we have given here. Now, according to this situation, we have to find here the angle, uh, critical angle, right? So, first of all, if we look at here, this complete angle is of 180 degree, okay? And if I will subtract this 90 degree from 180 degree, so can I say that the value of r plus r dash will become is equals to 90 degree right let this as equation number one okay now i will use the formula for the critical angle that is let's say uh, for this side is is mu one for this side is it mu two so we can write mu one sine c okay that uh, where c is the critical angle this should be equals to mu 2 sine of 90 now sine 90 is 1 so from here the critical angle sine c will become is equals to mu 2 by mu 1 now here to find the critical angle i need to find mu 2 by mu 1 okay sorry here i have written mu 2 this is mu 1 okay i need to find the ratio of mu 2 by mu 1 so to find the ratio of mu 2 by mu 1 we will use the snell's law that is mu 1 sin i this should be equals to mu 2 sin r dash right mu 2 sin r dash so from here the ratio of mu 2 by mu 1 will become is equals to sin i upon sin r dash now in, from equation number 1 I can write r dash is equals to 90 minus r. So, if we replace the value of r dash by this, so it will become sin i upon sin of 90 minus r. Now, we know that sin 90 minus theta is equals to cos of theta. So, here this will become sin i upon cos i. Okay. Now, uh, sorry, uh, cos r cos r now we know that the incident angle i is equals to the angle of reflection that is r so can i replace this i by r so this will become sin r divided by cos of r now we have related about the ratio of mu2 by mu1 is equals to sin c that means we get sin c is equals to sin r upon cos r that is tan r so from here the critical angle c will become is equals to sin inverse of tan r okay and this is what our required answer the critical angle for the ray that is c will be equals to sin inverse of tan r okay now according to given option, option first will become correct answer for this question. So this is the required solution. I hope you like the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.